You know what day it is? It's PCGS unboxing video day. So hey guys, uh, I just got the PCGS order from the mail lady. We have 20 coins in here. Uh, we did an econ sub. It took like three months to do, but uh, let me open this and we'll take it up to the light box and show you guys all the cool coins that we got. A whole bunch of different stuff, um, but you'll really enjoy this video, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I just made it up to the light box. I'm going to show you guys everything that we got um, back from PCGS. Um, here to take a deep dive about every single coin, kind of run through it a little bit speedier for you guys, just so uh, you guys get a quick glimpse of everything that we got today. So let me move this aside and start going with them. And the short story on some of these is that they weren't my coins, but they were wanting to be submitted by other uh, collectors or dealers, so I did that for them. So first off, we have an 1863 cent piece. Um, it's Great AU detail has uh, environmental damage they claim and when we zoom in here you can kind of see that darkness filling in they might have thought it was kind of like a gunk coming in on the on the left side of the coin um, when you flip it over um, it has that kind of uh, darkness on there too um, there's a very fine line kind of for them that I don't really know it's a little bit blurry for me um, in terms of what environmental damage is um, it'd be helpful if they could uh, somehow for a collector or for a dealer um, you know give a little bit of insight sometimes and why they do that or uh, what kind of put them over the edge in a sense but let's move on to the next coin up next we have an 1852 cent um, it's a nice braided scent um, there's something off about the coin probably uh, for the person that sent it to me but he said that you know I don't have too much into the coin I want to get it authenticated, um, you know, and so it, it's a nice braided scent. Um, it's still got some strong details. People will still enjoy it for their collection no matter what. So uh, congrats on just putting it in a holder for you, brother. I know Hudson's might be watching this video, but um, here's a coin that I hope uh, one of your collectors likes and wants to pick up from you. So pretty nice piece. So this one, uh, next coin, is a little bit tricky. For most people, this is a 1922 piece dollar. Um, the color on it, they they say it was questionable, and um, that's the thing with PCGS um, and, and what you have to watch out for. PCGS will questionable color almost every single one of these coins. Um, any any piece dollar with color on it, they'll questionable color it most times. But if you can get a coin in a PCGS lab with a straight graded in color, um, the price shoots up dramatically. Like if we sent this to coin to NGC and it's straight graded. It still wouldn't carry a premium that a PCGS straight grade holder would have. And so uh, I think Hudson wanted to try this out. Uh, it didn't pan out this time, but maybe next time, brother. So now we're going to be getting into uh, a pretty interesting uh, story on this coin. This is a 1927 uh, piece dollar. Uh, there's a guy on Instagram shooting for uh, a poor one. He said, hey, can I send it with you? I sent it off. And I think there was just too much detail on the reverse for them to give a poor one. Uh, maybe just throw it back in the pocket for a few more months and you might get it. So um, sometimes it stinks with these, but sometimes it's worth it because if, you know, in poor one, people do jump all over these coins and uh, they really they really uh, get lucky and then it ends up paying off for them. So let's jump into the next coin. I'm sorry if I'm f rapid firing here, everybody. I just want to make sure that uh, the PCGS submission um, you guys can view and, and enjoy. And so, so I don't want to take up too much of your evening. Uh, but this is a really unique piece. Um, like we were saying with that coin, someone was shooting, trying to shoot for a poor one on the 1927. And uh, Hudson also sent off this three cent piece and ended up going poor one. I think there's only two in population at PCGS in poor one. Um, so big congrats to him. Um, I know he's been working hard on getting poor ones for his customers and he said he's going to save this one for himself. So uh, really awesome. I think price got like $75 for this coin, but 
when there's only two of them, I think you can put a little bit of ad added price to it. Maybe 100 bucks, 125 bucks, maybe a little bit more than that even. But awesome piece, super unique. You probably should send this one off to CAC. So let's jump into uh, the next one. Up next, uh, which is probably my favorite coin of the batch. Uh, I normally thought I thought this coin would details for a certain reason. I kind of start seeing halos along the stars right here. But this coin is really beautiful. You can kind of see uh, the starry night, the reds, the, gr the greens. Um, almost like a purple on there too. Um, I really enjoy the color on it. Um, I'm still waiting on true views from PCGS, so I don't know what's going on with that. But um, when you flip it over, you'll see why I really do like the coin. Boom. See that green? I really like that green kind of bullseye feel to it. Um, it's starting to go terminal on the left side here. I wish it was a full kind of bullseye. That would be super cool. Um, and I think this might be, I don't know if this is an O over O. It's just a really thick and fat O. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, but really immaculate piece. Um, so happy that this one's straight graded. Um, I thought it would details grade because I thought there was some cleaning on it. But PCGS uh, determined that it was it was fine, which I'm very happy about. And it graded 63. So, um, and if you guys are interested in any coins today, uh, most of them are on the website. And if you want to keep up with our our current inventory at any time, all of it's on the website for you guys to view. So, uh, let's jump into the next one. Up next, I have a really unique coin. It's a 1902 uh, Barber Half. And the cool part about this one is uh, the lettering on the coin. I really do think it's interesting. I think it was from, uh, what is it, like a Wade, Raymond Wade. Or I forgot the, the name of the album. But it was album toning from the words that were in the book. I thought it was super cool. And so I thought I would just send it off. You know, we, we, all this is an econ sub anyway. So it's the lowest cost um, on my end. But it also puts a lot of cool coins in, a, in, in holders with uh, nice photos. So, and I don't see these too often, and when I saw it, I had to jump on it. So, pretty unique, and uh, maybe you guys would want one of these. Um, some people actually try to fill in albums and everything with this. Um, you know, they try to, like, find all these barbers with all these uh, letters and things on it. And I think it's pretty unique that people do that. Um, there's just so many things I'm um, spurring off uh, into different collections, into different... Uh, kind of hobbies of collecting as well but uh here's a coin that my friend wanted me to send off he thought it would have a shot at poor one um it didn't i'm not going to spend too much time on this coin but uh there's a whole lot of people out there trying to shoot for poor one stuff so if you guys do see a pretty beat coin sometimes uh, you might want to jump on it and give it a shot just uh just a little perspective from my end but uh let's get into a few more here I actually sold this cool coin today um, this is a 2008 uh, nickel and everyone's scratching their head right now saying why did you grade this coin um, and I saw this coin on eBay which I thought I thought it was a pretty cool coin but you can kind of see this color shooting off of it and a little bit of a terminal to it as well um, the reason why I put I sent this one off is because I thought it was super cool I mean I thought it was just unique um, I had this like Joker feel to it, um, and color on 2008 and past that, like any color that's a little bit newer age, um, is pretty hard to find nowadays. And I don't know, I really like the coin. I think it's interesting. And if you guys do want to look up any of the true views on any of these coins, uh, you know, just just type in the numbers on the PCGS website, and they'll give you a really cool photo of these things. So, um, yeah, I really like that nickel. Um, it sold pretty quick. And I'm pretty thankful for it. Up next, uh, 1982 half dollar. Uh, you're going to kind of see the similar stuff. Toning. Um, you know, I want to kind of offer something that's a little bit different for everybody. Um, I, I like this coin. I thought it had a, a chance at a higher grade. But I ended up uh, not getting the higher grade, which is okay. You know, but I do like the color on it. And uh, I think there's a few people that might want this coin. So, pretty cool coin to say the least, and uh, I'm happy a PCGS uh, helped me out in putting this coin in a holder. So, um, Up next, there's uh, actually two pretty cool uh, coins that I wanted to show you guys. So Hudson actually came to me a few months ago saying, hey, I have these pretty 
uh, these pretty toned uh, Walker ha uh, half dollars. They're pretty beat, but Drew, do you want to buy one? And I was like, yeah, sure. So there's this 1916S with this color on it, and I thought it was pretty unique. Um, and and, and it, with the S Mint, um, it's like $90 for this in AG3. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I thought, you know, let's just send it off, see what happens with it. Ended up coming back straight graded. Um, and I'm super happy with it. I can't wait for the, the true views to show up, though. That's going to be exciting as well. Um, but I just don't see too many circulated coins with this kind of uh, color on it. And uh, you'll kind of see this with the next uh, the next half dollar as well. But um, it's just something, like I said, that's unique, that's affordable for, for the collector. Uh, something for someone to add to their collection that just wasn't breaking the bank. So this is pretty cool. But... Um, up next, there's this 1917. Uh, I really like this this half dollar more than the other one, just because you can see the color kind of sinking on the sides uh, of her. It's like this pink and green uh, feel to it. Um, I really enjoy the coin. I think it um, has that really nice color. Uh, most of the stuff that's circulated never really gets that color back. Um, and if they do, it's because it was retoned. But PCGS thought this was genuinely toned, so they gave it a VG10. Alrighty, so I ended up did sending off a penny um, to PCGS um, just because I like the color on it. Most of this submission is because of its color base, and uh, I think this coin has a lot of nice luster on it. It's pretty interesting as well. Um, I also like how I like the Abraham Lincoln his detail back there. He's sitting on the you can kind of see it. It's pretty cool. I think I like how it lights up, you know. I, I don't know. I, this is something about the coin that I thought was pretty unique. Um, the luster on it. And then it also came back brown, which is pretty nice. Uh, most of the time you get red-brown or stuff like that. But when you get this greenish color, uh, PCGS thinks it's on the brown side. So, um, you know, if it doesn't sell, then I'll just throw it in my set and make it, you know, I don't know. Something, so, something will come out of this coin. But... Um, I don't know. Some, sometimes you got to try stuff out, send it in, um, and just throw it out there. Maybe people would want this for their set. Um, you never know with, uh, with the coin community. They surprise me every single day. So we're going to be showing off, uh, for, for most of the rest of the video, we'll be showing off dollars. Uh, this 1921 Morgan dollar. Um, so 21 Morgan dollars are a little bit harder to find with toning. And so I sent this one off because I like the the peripheral toning on it and I also like this kind of greenish terminal to it um, I think it's a, a really beautiful coin and I didn't pay too much for it and I thought you know what since this coin is a little bit harder to find toned I think someone will enjoy it because of of its uh, unique characters to it so um, I think it's beautiful so <laughs> but it all depends kind of on the eye of the beholder um, it's not the most attractive coin, but it does have that uh, kind of terminal green and reds to it. So I like it. You know, hey, why not? And I ended up running into a bunch of tape and, and tab toners um, recently. And I thought they were pretty nice, so I ended up sending some off. Um, I like the blue and redness to this kind of this coin, and I thought the cheek was clean enough to get a 64. And uh, it came back the way I wanted it to. Um, overall, the coin's luster is pretty strong. Um, the strike is pretty weak, though. So if the stri strike, in my opinion, was a little bit stronger, I think the coin would have fived. But this is New Orleans Mint, so they are known for uh, weak strikes. So that's something that um, I already knew before sending it to PCGS. But this is a tape toner, uh, no doubt. I think that the, whoever owned this before um, pulled the tape off just before the tape residue really stuck to it. Um, so thank you whoever owned this last. I can't wait to find someone that uh, wants this for their collection. Alrighty, so we actually ended up sending an Ike dollar off as well. This is uh, a 1978 Ike dollar. Um, I really like the greens and blues on it and then this orange to it. Um, and the collectors for these coins have been uh, kind of soaring over the years. Um, they, they've been on the steady rise. And so um, I ended up buying this coin for somebody else. So somebody was at a show and I ended up saying, hey, let me ask this guy if he wants it. He said yes. 
I sent it off to the guy and he said, oh no, I don't want it anymore. It, the color wasn't that nice and he took it in a different light. So he returned it to me and now I'm stuck with it. <laughs> but I think it's a nice coin either way. Um, has some unique qualities to it. Um, but yeah, Ike dollars have been on the rise recently. So if you guys do see some with amazing color, I would say pick it up because um, um, these are getting extremely expensive in terms of being in a higher grade or uh, in terms of toning. So uh, just a little bit of tip for you guys in terms of watching out for Ike dollars. So we were at a shop in Arkansas and I ran through uh, a bunch of Morgan dollars and I thought these tab toners were pretty cool. It has this kind of green uh, toning to it, a little bit of blue toning as well. Um, when you flip it over, it kind of has this like little bubble maybe that was on it or a little bit of a ring. Um, this gr coin graded MS-63. Uh, I think the luster was, was at play in terms of it being dampened. And there was a little bit of chatter in the fields and on the face. But uh, nonetheless, people do collect these all the time. And I think that uh, someone that I think I know a few people that actually end up collecting tape and tab toners. And uh, I always try to reach out to those people and also gr grow more connections. And so uh, kind of the purpose of this sub is to find more people that like certain things. And then when I buy certain things uh, at shows, uh, maybe like tab toners or maybe like toned nickels or um, I can find um, a group of people that are constantly liking them. And then it will expand my customer base, but also um, it'll keep more people excited and happy about the hobby and that's what it's all about but uh, up next I'm going to show you this coin this is an 1884 we found this also at the same shop um, the reason why I set this one in is because the luster uh, on the coin and in the toning is a little bit nicer but um, there's a little bit too much chatter for PCGS to give it a 63 but that's okay um, but I, I really do enjoy uh, this coin as well I kind of enjoy the progression across the coin um, but like I said, look up the true views. They should be ready for you guys to look at. Um, and also check the website if you guys want something like this for your collection. And I ended up sending a Buffalo Nickel in. This is uh, a 1913 Type 2. Um, it has this really beautiful rainbow, um, rainbow color to it. Um, I don't know. I don't see too much toning on Buffaloes currently. And when I do, they're pretty expensive. And so when I sent this one off, I thought once the true views come back on it, someone's going to have appreciation for it. Uh, sometimes it's just harder to sell a coin when you're when it doesn't have a beautiful picture and it isn't authenticated yet. And the thing about buffaloes is that they're extremely hard to grade, um, at least that I know of. They're just so much surface area that the head and the buffalo is consuming that you know a Morgan or, or Peace dollar, those are a little bit easier because you can kind of tell the difference between the fields and um, on the high surfaces of a coin but this one has a hot, lot of high surfaces um, but I, I like the color and like I said I want to branch out into more people that enjoy this type of stuff and uh, this is a little bit of an earlier date uh, demands a little bit more of a premium than the, the later date stuff and uh, yeah I think it's beautiful I really do love it And last but not least, we have a 1925 uh, commemorative half dollar as the Stone Mountain. When I picked this up originally, I was told not to buy it because it looked like it had issues. And, uh, well, you know, that's exactly what happened. So it came back, uh, details, and the thing that would kind of give it away is this kind of splotchy... Uh, I don't know, splotchy issues with the coin. Uh, I guess what my what my pres presumption would be and what PCGS probably thought was that it was clean and then toning started to come back into the coin. Um, maybe someone was trying to remove a spot or an issue or uh, they were trying to make the coin look nicer and they ended up messing with the coin, um, putting maybe a chemical on it and then the coin started to retone and it started to get this kind of dark ember toasted feel to it which is unfortunate but um, for my for my sake and all the coins that I've submitted this is my only details coin so I'm very proud of the submission and I want to thank you guys for letting me open all these coins with you I hope you guys learned a lot
Alrighty guys, I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. A uh, whole lot of nice coins in here. Um, like I said, if you guys do uh, want to check these out or are interested in a few of them, uh, they will be on our website, AkushaCollectibles.com. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. If you learned something new, uh, comment what you learned. And uh, subscribe if you're new because we're making coin content every week, uh, giving you guys the best information that we know. I'm um, just giving it away for free. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This has been Drew, and I'll see you in the next video.